In this video, we're going to look at inflation in a little bit more detail. I did introduce inflation to you in the introduction video, but now we're going to look at a few examples using inflation. So a loaf of white bread at a local supermarket costs 14 Rand 50. How much will you be paying for a loaf of bread in 25 years time if the average rate of inflation is currently around 5% per annum? So what you need to notice with this question is they don't specify if it's compound or simple interest. But in the introductory video, I did say to you that inflation will always use compound interest. Okay, so if it's an inflation question, just by mentioning the word inflation, you need to know that it's compound interest that you should be using. So we're going to start with our compound interest formula. Currently, the loaf of bread is 14.50, and the rate of inflation is 5% per annum. Remember to substitute it in as a decimal of 0, 0,05. And then in 25 years' time, so your exponent is a 25, it's going to cost you 49,1021. Remember, we're talking about rands and cents, so it's going to cost you 49 rand and 10 cents for a loaf of bread. Now, let's look at a similar example, but now we want to know what did a loaf of bread cost 15 years ago? if the average rate of inflation was around 8% per annum. So the rate of inflation is slightly lower at the moment, um, but over the past few years it was 8%. And now what we're looking at is 14 Rand 50 is what it is worth now. So we want to know what did it start as, all right? So in this example, the 14 Rand 50 is what it is worth now. We don't know where it started. So remember, P is principal initial, it's where it started. Um, so in this example, we need to work out the p-value. Our interest rate is 8% per annum, so we're going to substitute in a 0, 0,08. All right, so now we need to get p on its own. So we're going to divide 14.50 by the whole of the right-hand side except the p-value. All right, so divided by the bracket to the power of 15. And if you enter that into your calculator, you will get an answer of 4,57, rounded off to two decimal places. So 15 years ago, a loaf of bread would have cost you about 4,57. Let's look at everybody's favorite Big Mac, McDonald, Mac burger. At the moment, it costs 39,90. Now, how much will we be paying for a Big Mac in seven years' time if the average rate of inflation is currently around 5% per annum? Okay, so at the moment it's 39.50. This is where it's starting. We want to know what it, what will it be, what will it cost us in seven years' time? All right, we're using inflation, uses compound interest. So at the moment it's 39.90. The interest rate is five percent, so 0, 0,05. And in seven years' time, it's going to cost us 56 rand and 14 cents. All right, remember that 5% we're going to enter as 0, 0,05. All right, Billy wants to travel overseas in five years' time. Inflation is currently 5% per annum, and the trip is expected to cost 90,000 Rand then. So how much must he put in now? So what is his initial deposit in order to, to be afford the trip if the average inflation rate remained constant? Okay, so if your average rate of inflation remained 5%, how much does he need to put in the bank now to get out 90,000 Rand in the future? So the big thing you need to decide is which is your A value and which is your P value? Or the 90,000, is it your A value or your P value? First of all, remember inflation uses compound interest, so we're going to use our compound interest formula. We want to know how much Ms. Billy put into the bank right now to take out 90,000 Rand at the end. So 90,000 Rand is your A value. To calculate um, the p-value, um, just remember we're going to enter that 5% as 0, 0,05. And to get p on its own, we're going to take 90,000 divided by everything else on the right-hand side. If we put that into our calculator, at the moment he needs to put 70,517.35 approximately into his bank. And in five years' time, he will have 90,000 rand and he can go on his trip. Thanks for watching Max Maths. If you liked what you saw, please like, share and subscribe.